Beneficent the Merciful, respected viewers, brothers and sisters in Islam, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today we will continue our discussion regarding women in Islamic history. Today we will discuss the life of Sayyida Asi alayhi salam. Asiya's greatness is in the fact that although she was the wife of one of the most powerful, arrogant and tyrant rulers of Egypt, she was able to see and accept the truth in the message of Prophet Musa alayhi salam. For her wealth, beauty, or status was not the main criterion of human excellence. She realized that without faith in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, a human being has nothing. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had chosen her to provide refuge to Musa alayhi salam. When he was an infant, when her maids brought the cradle of Musa alayhi salam from the river, she insisted to Pharaoh that she wanted to adapt that infant as a child. She insisted to Pharaoh that she wanted to adopt the infant as a child. The wife of Pharaoh said, here is joy of the eye, for me and for thee. Slay him not. It may be that he will be use of us, or we may adopt him as a son. And they perceived not what they were doing. Asiya bint Muzahim had declared her faith in the message of God after witnessing the miracle of Musa salam in the court of Pharaoh, and after witnessing the death of another believing woman under the torture. Pharaoh tried to turn her away from the God of Musa salam and sought her mother's help. But Asiya refused to reject the god of Musa salam. On Pharaoh's order, she was tortured to death. And Allah gives us an example of those who believe, the wife of Pharaoh. Remember when she said, My Lord, build for me a house with thee in paradise, and deliver me from Pharaoh and his deeds, and deliver me from the unjust people. In this lady, we see the example of supreme sacrifice. By marrying, by marrying Pharaoh, Asiya bint Muzahim became the queen of Egypt. She gained everything that she wanted in this worldly life from the materialistic point of view. The best of the clothes, food, palaces, jewels, servants and maid, etc. But she sacrificed all that to be closer to Allah. And, what it, and that is why we see her included by the Prophet in the list of the four women who attained the level of perfection. It has been narrated and commented on this verse. And Allah has set forth an example for those who believe. The wife of Pharaoh, when she said, My Lord, build for, me a house, build for me a home with you in paradise, and save me from Pharaoh and his work, and save me from the wrongdoers. It is also narrated Pharaoh was the most tyrannical and disbelieving persons on earth, and by Allah, his disbelief did not affect his wife when she decided to obey her Lord. Abu Uthman al-Nahdi reported that Sulaiman said, Pharaoh's wife was tortured in the heat of the sun. When her torturers would take a break and walk away, the angels would shade her with their wings, and she would see her home in paradise. Al-Qasim bin al-Bazah said, Pharaoh's wife asked who won, and it was said to her, Musa and Harun. So she would say, I believe in the Lord of Musa and Harun. Pharaoh said to those around him, Look for the largest rock you can find. If she sticks to what she said, throw it on her. Throw it on her. If she checks what she said, she will remain my wife. When they came to her, she looked towards the sky and saw her home in paradise. So she stuck to what she said, and her soul was taken, and the rock was thrown on her, lifeless body after her soul had been taken. The scholars say regarding her statement, my Lord built for me a home with you in paradise, that she chose her neighbor Allah before mentioning where she wanted to live, a home in paradise. Abu Aliya said, Pharaoh's wife believed because of the wife of Pharaoh's treasure. What happened was that this woman was sitting and combining what happened was that this woman was sitting and combing the hair of Pharaoh's daughter one day and the comb fell from her hand. So she said, May whoever disbelieves in Allah be destroyed. Pharaoh's father said to her, You have a Lord besides my father? She replied, The Lord of me, your father, and everything is Allah. So Pharaoh's daughter hit her and went to tell her father. Pharaoh sent to her, saying, You worship a Lord besides me? She said, Yes, the Lord of you, 
I and everything is Allah, and I worship him. So Fir'aun tortured her by putting her on a stake and stretching out her arms and legs and setting loose snakes on her body. One day when she was in such a state, he came to her and said, Will you give up? She replied, The Lord of you, I and everything is Allah. He said to her, I will kill your son if you do not go back from what you said. She said, Do whatever you want. And he killed her son. And she could hear his soul calm her down by saying to her, Be happy, my mother. You have such a reward with Allah. She remained patient until Fir'aun came to her another day, and she said the same to him as she had before. So he killed another of her sons, and she could hear his soul calming her down as well. Fir'aun's wife heard all of this, and this caused her to become a believer. Allah took away the soul of the wife of Fir'aun's treasure, and Fir'aun's wife suddenly realized the reward, status, and honor that this woman had in paradise. So she increased in her faith and certainty until Allah caused Fir'aun to discover her faith. And he said to his followers, What do you know about Asiya bint Muzahim? They replied by praising her. And he said to them, She worships someone besides me. They said, Kill her. And he placed her on a device that stretched her arms and legs away from her body. So Asiya called upon her Lord saying, My Lord, build for me a home with you in paradise. Fir'aun happened to walk by when she said this, and she smiled because she saw her home in paradise. And Fir'aun said to those watching, aren't you amazed by her sanity? She smiles while we are torturing her. So Allah took her soul away to paradise, and may Allah be pleased with her. With that, let's take today as a day to celebrate the life of this powerful and courageous woman. She stood up for what was right, even if that meant her life were to be put on the line. Thank you, dear viewers, for tuning in, and we hope to see you next time.